Hi guys, my name is Sharon, and welcome to Creative Glam. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you. Today I'm going to share with you a shop with me at Home Goods, and then the styling of a side table that I'm going to DIY, plus a buffet table that I purchased from Wayfair. Uh, but before we get to the styling, we're going to head over to Home Goods, and before I even head to Home Goods, I need to stop and drop off some dry cleaning. Okay, so now that I've dropped off the dry cleaning, onto Hobby Lobby. All right, let's go into the store. Thankful, grateful, and blessed. Yes, I am. That reminds me of a restoration hardware vessel. They don't have as many wreaths this year, I noticed. But it's been a while since I bought a wreath from the store. I usually, I have been DIYing my wreath. Um, I mean, I've always done it, but I usually buy one or two a year. So far, I have not bought a wreath. I've been making my own. But these are pretty. I love that eucalyptus one. $24.99. That's not a bad price because if you bought the eucalyptus separate and even if you have the, the form, that's about what you're going to pay anyway. So that's really not a bad price for that read. I love topiaries. I have them all over my home. But look at that orchid. Pop. 
Pumpkin Palooza. That's cute. Which do you like better, the wooden pumpkins or the glass pumpkins? Or are you even buying new pumpkins this season? Oh, I think that's cute. That's a pumpkin with a recipe on it. to put in the dining room but I didn't necessarily want it to be fall themed I wanted it to be year-round if you didn't see me making my own TikTok board I'll link that video up above I love these big signs like that, especially the ones that do double duty. One season is on one side and on, you can flip it and have another saying on the other side. I think those are really nice. on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. I just love that mother of pearl look with the navy blue dots on it. That is so pretty. from here but sometimes I wonder I might have met the love of my life but I lost a number never mind she declined to the first date I went to Vegas with a roommate never mind all the lines on the highway I aim to misbehave cause I'm just having a good day having a good day having a Black decor pieces are really hot right now. Real good morning. I'm just having a good time, having a bad day, yeah. A real good morning. A real good morning. A real good morning. I'm just having a good day. Okay, I need the La Petite Cuisine.
Ooh, I like that tray. That's giving me Restoration Hardware vibes too. In the basket it goes. Now that we're back home, I'm gonna DIY my sideboard table and I'm gonna decorate it. I took my side table outside. I decided to change the color, so I spray painted it an espresso brown. Then I took a mirror that I already owned that was the exact same size as my sideboard table and I spray painted that silver. I already had a glass top that goes on the sideboard table, but I liked the frame on the outside of the mirror because it matched the mirrors that I have hanging on the wall in the dining room. So here are the two lamps that I purchased from Home Goods. I think they fit perfectly in that space. The reason I have on gloves at this point was I was still painting other projects outside. And then the vessel that I picked up at Home Goods, La Petite Cuisine. I already had some olive branches that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby, so I'm gonna drop some of those inside of this vessel. I added some sparkling water bottles to the side table. Um, I love that navy blue color that it's giving off. I added some champagne flutes. I added a couple more fall sprigs and I, and I added my gather sign. I don't remember where I got that from. It was probably home goods. I love it. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. And now onto the buffet table. This is on the other side of the room. I purchased this hutch from Wayfair. The centerpiece I have there is something that I've had for quite some time. And the florals that I have inside of it, I got from Pottery Barn. I added the wine rack back to the top of the buffet. It has some bottles of wine, some bottles of water, and some champagne. I added this beautiful mahogany wood tray that I thought was really pretty. And then I added a couple uh, miniature bottles of Prosecco. Then I added a lantern that I believe I got from Big Lots. I'm not sure, don't hold me to that. And then I added some matching frames that I got from the Dollar Tree. I added a wooden pumpkin that I got from um, Pottery Barn. And I added a Happy Fall Y'all sign that I got from Michaels. This is a very roomy hutch, so everything that used to be in my tall now fits into this smaller hutch. It's pretty deep, I love it a lot. Not quite sure if I'm going to keep the knobs that are currently on it, uh, but I, I may change the knobs out. Then again, I may leave them. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my shop with me and the styling of the tables in my dining room. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Don't forget, at the end of this video, click one of the links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye! I am
I'm tickled pink that things aren't going my way Cause that would be boring Spend my last cent on cheese and champagne What a wonderful morning Never mind she declined to the first date It was only on my birthday Never mind all the lines on the 